Hello everyone. Today we are learning how to run multiple regression in Excel. For this we need a dependent variable and at least two independent variables so that we can run multiple regression. To work on this we have taken example of weekly expenditures and two series weekly income and family size as our regressors or x variables. We know that weekly expenditures depend positively on weekly income. That is the higher the weekly income, the higher would be the expenditures. On the other hand, we also know that family size is also an important determinant of the weekly expenditures. So a household with a larger family size would have larger or higher weekly expenditures in contrast to a household with smaller family size. In order to investigate this and estimate the linear regression line, we have to have regression analysis. Before we estimate the regression line, we first draw the scatter plots to see whether data supports our conjecture about the positive relationship between weekly expenditures and weekly income and weekly expenditures and family size. So I first select my series X1, which is weekly income. And then I select my series Y, which is weekly expenditures. Remember that in order to draw the scatter plot in Excel, we first have to select series X and then the series Y. And then we click on insert and pick scatter plot. Now we observe that there is positive relationship between x and x1 and y variables now to do the same for second variable family size we select both family size and weekly expenditures together and then click on insert and draw the scatter plot and we also observe in this case that the two series are positively related to each other if i draw a trend line I observed that it is an upward sloping trend line. Now, the data reveals that weekly expenditures depends positively on weekly income as well as family size. Okay, now I can move this to the other side. And I'm ready to run my regression for uh, weekly expenditures on weekly income and family size. So as I told you uh, earlier in one of my videos for regression analysis that we must have data analysis available in under data. So I click on data analysis then I pick regression. I provide input y range which is my dependent variable y. I select y series. After that I move to input x range. Now remember that because we want to run multiple regression therefore when I'm inputting x values, I have to select both x variables together. And if it is more than two x variables, you have to select all of those x variables together. And this is the difference between simple and multiple regression in Excel. That is, when you are running multiple regression in Excel, your x variables must be adjacent to each other and then you have to select them together. So I select both series together and I check the box labels and then output range. I ask Excel to provide me output in this cell and then I hit on OK. Now here is the output. So first of all, we look at multiple R. That is 0.77. So it tells positive linear relationship between y and the x variables. And if I look at r squared, the coefficient of determination, it is approximately 0 0.60. So it tells that 60% variation in uh, weekly expenditures is because of family size and weekly income. And the number of observations is 63 here. Now I come to the regression part of the output. How to interpret these slope coefficients? Well, if you look at the intercept term, the intercept term is 68, which means that when the weekly income of the individual is zero and 
the family size of the household is zero, then the weekly expenditures on food is 68. But this is meaningless because there is no such household with zero family size. Therefore, intercept term doesn't have any meaning here. However, it is good to keep this intercept term in the model for statistical reasons. Look at the coefficient of x1. x1 is weekly income. So we see that the coefficient is 0.5. What does this tell us? Well, we can interpret this coefficient as holding family size constant. If income of the household increases by $100, then the expenditures will increase on average by $50 per week. Similarly, for x2, the coefficient is 0 0.04. Now we can interpret this coefficient as holding the income, weekly income of the individual constant if there is increase in family size by one more member, then the average expenditures would be $5 higher. This completes the interpretation of the coefficients and the procedure of how to estimate multiple regression in Excel. Thank you very much.